안녕하세요 사라입니다 <웃음> 음, 이번 영상은 제가 제 친구들을 인터뷰를 하는 영상인데요 어, 각기 다 다른 전공을 하고 있는 친구들을 인터뷰를 했어요 그래서 뭐 지원 과정이나 지원할 때뭐 학부 어떤 과를 졸업했어야 했는지 뭐 그런 조건들이 있었는지 이런 질문들도 물어보고 그리고 뭐그 학과에서는 어떻게 공부를 하고 있는지 수업은 어떻게 진행되고 있는지 이런 질문들을 통해 네 저희 학교를 소개하는 그럼 인터뷰 장면으로 넘어가 볼게요 Hi Hello, Sarah <웃음> Okay, um, introduce yourself, like your name, where you're from. My name is Jesus. I am from Mexico City um, and I study economics here at Lund University. What did you do for your bachelor's? For my bachelor, I also study economics at the National University of Mexico. Mm -hmm. Was like there was a prerequisite to apply to this program? Like, do you have to be economics graduated student? Yeah, you need to have like economic background and also do some English test, like certify your knowledge about your the language. Yeah. Um, how is your course constructed? Like the lectures, how the group projects are going? Can you explain? Yeah, my courses are more uh, based on lectures. Like we have the professor giving lecture, but they also ask for some assignments. That we have to complete uh, in groups. Yeah, but like, isn't your program more focused on lectures than like projects? I think it's like more individual studies. Yeah, it's more individual studies because uh, most of the uh, grades came from a uh, final exam. Yeah, and you take them mostly in school. Yeah, on campus. Okay, can you tell me about the courses you took on the first semester? Yeah, uh, since my master is more based on mathematical and economics, uh, they focus more on having more courses about mathematics and microeconometrics. Uh, but also, we took some macro macroeconomics and uh, econometrics. Oh, so it's like more mathematics. Yeah, it's, it's more like math based program. Yeah, and there's like a one special thing about your program because you write two theses. Yeah, I write two theses, uh, one the first year and the other at the final year. Okay, well, thank you, Jesus. Okay, hi. Hi. Um, introduce yourself. Yeah, so my name is Elmer, um, I'm from uh, Malmö, but I did my, uh, my bachelor in Lund, actually, uh, at Lund University. I did my bachelor in service management with specialization in retail. Um, uh, I'm 25 years old. Uh, I'm and currently uh, I'm doing my master's in service management as well and uh, in retail. I'm also doing a, a bachelor in business administration at the same time. It's like a lot at the moment, but yeah. So your department is service management, and your specialization is retail in your master's. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's like management, but it's also like kind of marketing. It's about uh, the customer perspective through the whole organization. Are there more lectures or group projects or workshops? How does the course like constructed? We have a lot of group works where we discuss and exchange like knowledge with each other. A lot of people have different backgrounds, so I think that's really nice. You actually like sure you learn from the course literature and like the lectures, but you also learn a lot from your colleagues in the class. And I think like that's one of the most important things with these group works. And we also have a lot of seminars where we, where we discuss with each other and I think that's like really you learn a lot from that. And then of course we also have like like normal finals as you have. Like one usual thing at the master's level is, level is that either you have like an examination of like specific uh, theories and stuff or you have like a literature review where you basically like review current like articles and stuff that's already in the field to learn all about that, to be able to do further further research within the specific field and especially service management but. Uh -huh. um, What do you want to do after your master's? Uh, I would like to, preferably I would like to work of course within uh, retail uh, I think I will, will work in e-commerce within sales or marketing probably uh, Why is it e-commerce? 
because I think like when it comes to retail in general, I think there is like a bigger future in e-commerce than like the physical store. I think the physical store is still like super important, but because people need to interact with the thing you're selling in many cases. I mean, if you want to interact with the customers, I think that is a good way like for a brand to all to interact with the customers and create some like presence in real life as well. Yeah. And not just being on the like on selling stuff on the internet. I'm working with that basically. I'm working with yeah. Thanks. Hi. <laughs> Hi, please introduce yourself. I'm Valeria. I study sustainable urban design. Uh, I just arrived such as Sarah on August. What is your study? Uh, well, I'm an architect. I have a background in architecture, but my program is really open on that part. Uh, my classmates are engineers, uh, landscape architects, urban planners, mm -hmm. designers, architects. So it's really on the architecture and design oh. area. Okay, so for your program in order to apply for it is the prerequisites being an architect or what was the condition in order to apply you should have a bachelor in either architecture urban planning landscape or interior or some type of design because you should have a portfolio mm -hmm. with all your previous work from bachelor and from start and um, from working oh so it's for architects and engineers yes Okay. Architects, engineers, urban planners. Okay. Whatever. Most of us who live in this building, we all have like an um, exam in the same period, but you always have <laughs> different schedule. Yes. So I'm curious about your course structure, like workshops, projects, like is there more lectures or what? Yes, as an architect, my schedule is always upside down. And we don't have exams. We have projects, workshops, lectures, and our classes are mainly in the morning lectures mm -hmm. and always uh, after afternoon it's mm -hmm. workshops where we have to group study and came up with ideas for a project. After having your master's degree, what do you want to do? Oh, well, I want to be an urban designer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to work in something more sustainable than just regular architecture stuff mm -hmm. and hopefully uh, I'd like to stay here or somewhere in Europe so I can work. Okay, good, nice. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you today. Hi, um, please introduce yourself. Of course. Uh, I'm Gustavo Garcia. I'm from Mexico. I'm 26 years old. My master's degree that I'm currently studying is service management uh, with a specialization in supply chain management at Lund University, campus Helsingborg. I have a question about applying. Was there like a prerequisite in your program? Like, um, was there like a special specialization that you need to have in your bachelor's degree or like conditions? Mm -hmm. Yes, you needed to have at least, uh, there were 40 credits, uh, European credits, and they needed 40 credits on courses that you had before, business administration, logistic, my major in back in Mexico, I did it on international business, everything regarding supply chain, imports, exports, etc. So that really helped me to get my position here as in the specialization of supply chain management. You and me are in the same program, but different specialization. And we had yeah. a course, <laughs> event, which was a specialization course. I don't know yes. how that was conducted. So I'm curious how your specialization course was conducted. Because I was actually very pleased with our first, uh, well, a specialization course. It was called Introduction to Supply Chain Management. And it was really interactive. Different from the first course that you and I shared together, Introduction to Service Management, it was very theoretical. A lot of new theory, a lot of new concepts. And supply chain management was the first thing that they put us was this exercise where we were uh, running a company. Uh, the whole project is that you need to make an investment on something. And, and it was really interesting because it taught you how do you need to communicate within the company. It was really nice. Uh, as I mentioned, it was something that it was more practical than theory. But then the theory came, the biggest percentage, so we're five credits. Was an, was an essay that you could select any topic uh, relevant right now in supply chain and you needed to make sure to establish why was it important to talk about this. 
Personally, I spoke about blockchain, uh, introducing blockchain into the logistic systems, into the supply chain. Well, I had a report too, and my report was about metaverse. Metaverse, oh, interesting. <laughs> How different was your course, like your specialization course of retail? Like, was it practical or was it purely theoretical as we had before? Specialization courses were way better, like. Definitely. So far, we have had only one each and I very much liked it. But yeah, overall, so far, the specialization courses from the other friends that also have told me from their specializations were a bit more organized and interesting because ultimately we're, we are interested in those topics. That's why we selected our specialization, right? What do you want to do after having a master's degree? You asked me right now, I think I'll stay somewhere in Europe, definitely, either Romania or, or Sweden. Sweden is really, really nice. Uh, but if you want to stay here, must, well, really helpful, not a must. I correct that. It's to learn Swedish. Like most of the companies will definitely ask for you to speak Swedish. At the moment, I would like to stay here. Uh, if there is an opportunity, specifically in supply chain, there are really good companies here that have international logistics. Something for whoever is watching this, sorry for interrupting, but that need to be prepared in case they're interested in coming to, to Sweden. Be reminded of the fact that in the winter, uh, there is almost no sun. Be prepared for that. It is important to consider, to put it in your considerations when applying. Um, yeah, well, Gustavo, thank you for your time. And Thank you for inviting me. Nice interview. Thank you, Sarah.